In this video we're going to look at completing the square. Completing the square is where you get an expression in this form here and put it into this form here. So first thing we do using the steps is first let's have a bracket and put the x squared term in and the x term plus a question mark. We'll fill in that question mark later. And outside we put a takeaway question mark and the constant term. Next, our next step says we half the x coefficient and square it, and that's our question mark. Well, the x coefficient is just the number in front of x, so half 6 is 3, square it is 9. So let's put in our 9. So we're going to have our bracket in here. So x squared plus 6x plus 9, replace that question mark with a 9, minus 9 plus 4. Next it says step 3, factorise the bracket. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to get 9 but add to get to 6. So they are 3 and 3, which is what we were hoping for. So we're going to get x plus 3 and x plus 3 minus 9 plus 4. Lastly, we simplify the constant terms. Well, x plus 3 and x plus 3 is just x plus 3 squared. And minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5. So there's our answer. Let's look at this second example. So first step, put in the bracket with the x squared term, the x term, and a plus question mark. And then outside, take away uh, question mark and the constant term. Now, the question mark is half this number and squared. So half of negative 2 is negative 1. Square that is positive 1. So let's put that in, so we're going to have x squared minus 2x plus 1, and then take away 1. Now we're looking to factorise what we have in the brackets. We're looking for two numbers that times to get 1, but add to get negative 2. Well, that is negative 1 and negative 1. So we're going to have x minus 1, x minus 1, minus 1 plus 9. Then we look to simplify. So the first bit becomes x minus 1 all squared and minus 1 plus 9 is plus 8.